Uh, I would say Crosstown Brewing Company is unique. Uh, we chose the name Crosstown Brewing Company. We looked at other names, and we really finally just settled on the idea that our sense of place uh, was so important to us uh, that it was part of our identity. So there's only one Crosstown Concourse, uh, and therefore there's only one Crosstown Brewing Company, um, and that's what makes us unique. And so um, the things that they do there, there's a lot of mixed-use developments that exist in the country, but the fact that they focus on arts, education, healthcare, uh, and really focus on uh, doing good things and a sense of community uh, and not just an office space for rent for a certain amount of dollars, uh, a place with a mission. The, the craft beer movement was, was has been happening really, there was an early boom kind of in the late 90s, uh, somewhat tapered off, and then it really hit again in the late 2000s, which is when I got into homebrewing and, and Will got into homebrewing. Um, and so, you know, Memphis is, is really just like any place else, and maybe even behind. Um, you know, I think until seven years ago, there was only one, and then there were three. And one of the biggest things that I think you saw is they changed the law, and so they didn't have to have restaurants anymore, and that's when you saw the first boom um, of a few breweries come in. Uh, and then the rest of us, once we saw that happening, uh, we were pretty much in planning from the day those breweries started opening. Uh, as we were homebrewing in my backyard with Will and I, we were... We were looking at it and hatching our plans and, and figuring out how to get it done. Uh, several of the beers, really primarily the, our two flagship beers were recipes that we worked on um, in our backyards. Um, Traffic IPA is a really different IPA than the market had seen. Uh, we were starting to see beers, this is probably 12 years ago now, we were starting to see beers come from California. Uh, these beers had low bitterness, but they had lots of hop flavor and lots of hop aroma. Uh, really kind of the precursor of what we've seen today with the new hazy IPA where they've taken the bitterness almost completely out of it um, and it's all aroma and flavor. So traffic kind of rides that line. Um, that's why we love it so much. It's got enough bitterness to be firm and balanced, uh, but also instead of that pine and, and, uh, and resin that you'll taste in a lot of IPAs, like late 2000s, it was like a contest to see who could, who could cram the most bitterness into a beer. Uh, and we were certainly reacting to that and still are. Um, that's not our goal, uh, is to make the beer as bitter, bitter as possible. We want the beer to be as delicious as possible, and that's what we really shoot for. So, yeah, traffic's a, a labor of love for us. We love it very much. It, it's been a hit since day one, uh, and all the nostalgia is there for us. So that's, that's absolutely a recipe that we designed in our backyards, and then Steve and our head brewer uh, perfected when he got here with us.